Hey guys, Joe here with LiveAnabolic.com and in this video I'm going to give you an at-home ab workout that you can do with absolutely zero equipment. You don't even need a lot of space. I just have a small office space here. It's going to be a beginner workout that we can start building your abdominal muscles. It's going to be a no impact workout. What I mean by that, there's no mountain climbers, no sprints or anything like that. It's all going to be focused on the core. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Just follow along with me in this video. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the plank reach. And we're going to be doing each exercise for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to have you follow along with me here. I have my timer over in the corner, so I'm going to be hitting that 30 seconds per exercise. So the plank reach, I have my timer going. You're going to be in a plank position, and you're going to be reaching forward. If you have a line in front of you, reach for that line. And it may not even have to be that far. It may just be right in front of you. Okay, any type of little bit of a reach is going to engage your abs just that much more. Almost done. And relax. Now, take a quick breather. Um, do something like a little bit of an abdominal stretch here like I'm doing right here. This is called the Cobra Pose. Just kind of swivel your hips from side to side for about 30 seconds. Just kind of stretch out your abdominal muscles like I'm doing here. And then we're going to get to the plank slide outs. So for the plank slide outs, you're going to be in what's called a hollow plank position. So usually you're flat as a board. For this one, you're actually going to round your lower back a little bit. So I'll show you here. Again, plank slide outs, 30 seconds. So you're in kind of a hollow position. Slide your feet out, walk them up, get in that hollow position, slide your feet out, really extending those abs, walk it up. No impact, you guys, all core focused, no sprints, no mountain climbers. Walk those feet up, almost done. Let's do one more. Slide those feet. Walk back up. And take a break. Let's stretch those abs out. Now when you're stretching the abs, make sure you're also giving it a good flex as well. Okay? Want to keep good core engagement. The reason we're stretching the abs is so we're still focusing on those muscles just in a different way. The next exercise is going to be the reverse crunch. We're going to go ahead and do that now. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to flip on your back. Reverse crunch. Again, another no impact exercise. You should be laying flat on your back. Hands down at your side. Let's take a look at my timer. 30 seconds. Two, one. You're going to have your feet slightly up off the ground. You're going to bring those knees up toward your chest. Pull at about a 90 degree angle. Coming down. Bring those heels down to where they lightly tap on the floor, and then bring those knees back up to your chest. Make sure you're flexing your abs the entire time. It's important that you focus your mind on these muscles. If you're just moving your limbs, moving your legs around, it's not going to do much for you. You want to squeeze those abs, really focus on your midsection. Almost done here. i got two more seconds, and I'm going to relax. Go ahead and flip around. Let's stretch those abs out one more time. Keeping all that focus in the abs. We're getting good stretches, good contractions in the abs. Really focusing on building those muscles. We have one more exercise. And you don't have to take these breaks in between. If you're feeling like this is too easy for you, just kind of move through the exercises as quickly as you can. This next one is going to be a hollow hold. Now, how a hold is a little bit different. So you're used to doing a hold along something like maybe having your, your back on the floor, holding here, or being in a, a, a weird V position. However, what you're going to do on your butt, you're going to keep your legs nice and close together, toes pointed forward. You're going to balance on your butt, hands underneath, squeeze the abs, and you're going to hold this. Holding this for 30 seconds. 
Make sure you're flexing the abs. Make sure you're keeping your knees tight. Your knees want to move away. Your whole body wants to come apart. However, you're keeping everything nice and tight. Toes pointed forward, arms straight, flex down on the abs. For a little more challenge, have your dog come and lick you and throw off your groove. Keep holding and relax. Okay, so those are the four exercises that you're going to perform during this workout. Again, this is a beginner workout. We have no impact, no sprints, no mountain climbers. It's all just floor movements that you can do. Simple and easy movements, yet movements that really challenge and engage your abs. Make sure that you're squeezing your abs the entire time. And when you're stretching, make sure you're really getting a good stretch in those abs as well. Make this this. This very short time, this four to six minutes, all abdominal focus to give you a great workout. So there you have it, you guys. This is a four minute, four to six minute workout you can do from absolutely anywhere, no equipment whatsoever, which means no excuses. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Joe with liveanabolic.com. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Let me know you liked the video. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you did complete the workout, let me know in the comments box below. I want to know how it went for you. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Again, this is Joe, and I'll see you in the next video.